Hi, it's Emily from That's What I Eat .com. Um, I am about to make some sweet potato bisque in the Blendtec, and I wanted to show you guys how simple this is, and I want to show you in real time how fast this is. Um, I have a pan right here that has been medium high heat for just a second. I'm going to add a little oil, and to that I'm going to add. The recipe says one medium onion. This is a Costco onion, which means not only are they the gigantic bags, but the onions are like as big as my head. So I'm not going to add this whole thing. I also minced up some garlic that's in there too. Turn around, get it covered in the oil, and then I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. And I'm going to. This sweet potato, last night while I was making dinner, I chopped up the onion and the garlic and put it in the fridge so it's ready. I also threw this guy in the oven with our dinner. Giant sweet potato. It calls for two sweet potatoes, but since this one is huge, I'm going to call it good. Um, but it was in the oven last night with our dinner, so it's nice and baked now. I'm just going to take the peel off. Since it's nice and soft, the peel comes off really easily. Give these guys a stir. I love doing that where I look at my menu for the next day and I see what I can prep the night before while I'm already in the kitchen anyway. Uh, that's how I get lots of stuff done is I really maximize my time in the kitchen and I make granola while I'm making dinner, or muffins, or something like that. So I'm never just doing one thing. Okay, I'm just going to cut this guy into chunks into the blender. Not too small a chunk, just so it fits in there. There we go. All right, I'll stir this one more time. And then over here I have three cups of chicken broth. I'm going to link below to a great recipe for chicken stock. I really suggest you make your own from home. It's much more nutritious. If you do buy it from the store, make sure it doesn't have NSG or any of the chemicals in it. Get, go for the good kind. Put that in. A cup of milk, the recipe, says low fat milk, but if you're a real food person, you know that whole milk is much better for you because it's not as processed. Those fats are necessary to be able to absorb the beta carotene that's great in these sweet potatoes. Your body needs the fat in order to, it's a fat soluble vitamin. Without the fat in the milk, it's not going to absorb that. Uh, this is just a little bit of cumin and oregano I've already measured out. Um, a little bit of pepper, about that much. The recipe doesn't call for salt. I'm adding a little anyway. My meats are done. So I'm just going to throw these in carefully. So I want you to notice the only thing hot in this blender are those vegetables I just added. The blend tech is going to do the heating for you. Sometimes you have to do the soup cycle two or three times if your ingredients are cold, but that's faster than making soup on the stove anyway, so. Okay. It is on. And so I just select the soup button. Here we go.
fun to just watch a blender go for, what was that, a few seconds, a minute. It's such a pretty color, and it's warm. I didn't cook it, but it's warm. I'm going to pour a little bit into my massive bowl. I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. And we're going to check this out and see how it tastes. Mmm. It's really good, really smooth, and it's warm. I might send that through one more cycle just because it's not like a touch warmer, but pretty impressive to have soup, homemade soup, that fast. Uh, delicious, nutritious, sweet potatoes are so good for you. Um, and so I just thank you for watching this video. I hope you give this a try in your blend tech, and I will talk to you there. Bye.